I come into one of these was when Cedric the Entertainer got born. I was out of the country then. And let me tell you something about this brother right here. This brother is the lick. Oh, yes. He is the reason a lot of us are standing out here today. If you are in stand-up comedy, if you have held the mic since the Def Jam days, you are dead of gratitude to this brother right here. Because this dude was the reason. He, Martin Lawrence, was the reason that Def Jam was a huge success. Woo! That's right! But Martin Lawrence breathed life into that that's night. That's right, that's right, that's right. This dude right here was the greatest mimic of, of all time. Yeah. He could take a situation and turn it into comedy. Come on. He was sitting on that front row, he was and getting one of the acts had he just went off, and he just yeah. stunk off the room. Martin fixed it, man. <laughs> this dude's improbability <laughs> is surpassed by none in the business. You're looking at the coldest mimic ever born in the comedy industry today. Woo! You and your family sat around the TV and watched and laughed your ass off. Oh, yes. Right. Everybody Every talked about it at work the next day. Yeah. That was one part of Martin's legacy. That's yeah. right. The most, the, but the most important part, the number of people he influenced. Yeah. Yes. Namely me. I had a friend named Raul in Puerto Rican, George, who worked for Russell so Simmons. And he gave me <laughs> and my brother Jim some tickets to see Martin host Step Jam. Mm -hmm. Out of all the comedians that performed that night, the only one I remember was Martin. He was mm. funny, he was effortless. Mm. Mm. He made me want to do and succeed in comedy. He made me believe I could do it. A few months, four months later, I performed on Def Jam. Mm. I thought that would be the last time meeting him <laughs> because out of nervousness, I smacked him on the ass when he introduced me and passed me the mic. I thought it was a good pass. <laughs> we ain't dropped the mic. Might get me dropped. Not the words, I thought he was mad at me and even hated me. But to my surprise, he called me a year later. I woke my son to the school, and when I came home, my wife, Sabina, said, Mar Lawrence just called you. I said, yeah, right, Mar not called me. He ain't called me. <laughs> 10 minutes later, he right called. Okay, he called me back and he said, what's We declare this is Martin Lawrence Day in Hollywood! Wow. wow. Okay, can y'all hear me? We can hear you, Martin! I just want to thank all, each and every one of y'all for being here and showing me this love. And uh, I thank God so much for this blessing and this honor. Uh, so I want to read uh, what I have for you to say to you. And uh, we you. love you, Martin. You go, boy! Go, boy! Martin, we I love you. Honor to God, in which all things are possible. Yes. Thank you to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and BET for recognizing my extensive body of work and making this possible. Thank you to Steve Harvey, Glenn Whitfield, and Tracy Morgan yes, yes. for presenting me with this prestigious honor. As I stand here very gracious and humble, I would like to give honor to my mom, yes. whose continual guidance from above has molded me into the man I am today. She instilled the importance of being true to myself, and by doing that, I've been able to bring laughter to so many. Thank you to my three beautiful daughters, Jasmine, Ayana, and Amara. The three of you are part of the best gift given to me. I love you all so very much. Thank you to the cast and crew of The Martin Show, especially Tisha, Tashina, Carl, and Tommy. We made a great team, and a true testament to teamwork makes a dream work. Thank you to my family and friends who hold me down from thick and thin. Y'all have encouraged me to show up at my best, and I appreciate, I love and appreciate all of you for that. Thank you to my agent and business manager, of whom I have been with most of my career. Thank you to my lawyers, my management team, and my public. I want to also take this moment to give a big thank you to my fans. Without your loyal love and support, this moment would not be possible. You all have 
support in my career without wavering. Yes. I appreciate the new generation of art fans who push me to strive for, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Take your time. Take your time. The blessing of my extraordinary gift of humor has and well, continue to well. many others. Spending time and creating all the memories possible with my family and friends are most important, and everyone that truly knows me can attest. I am honored to have my career flourish as I persevere through many adversities, and here I still stand. If I can pass one thing on to those coming after me, it would be to board your train bus with confidence, grace, and humility, and ride it till the wheels fall off. Let the doubters run town out. What should I get? You should definitely try our seafood gumbo. Um, gumbo, if you're not familiar with it, it's more of a stocky soup um, made out of a roux, which is like flour and oil. And it does take a long process to make, but once it's finished, it's a beautiful dish. We had um, king crab legs in it. We have smoked chicken and smoked sausage. We actually put two types of sausage in our gumbo. We do an andouille sausage that's very traditional in New Orleans, and we also add beef hot link in it, which makes it so flavorful and savory. And then we add like shrimp and the king crab, it makes it sweet and salty and fully loaded. Wow. So I definitely recommend trying that. Also, that's super close to my heart is our fried chicken. We smoke our chicken first, then deep fry it, so it's super flavorful. As soon as you bite into it, it's like a burst of smoky and just hot fried chicken. Sounds delicious. 